Thank you, President Officer. In a recent article in the Herald, the leader of Glasgow City Council has called for bold leadership and detailed progress on a Clyde Metro project. She will not find that in the statement today or in the review documents, despite its fine words and laudable aims. Instead, there is a vague recommendation to continue to work with regional partners. This feels like history repeating itself from a government that has overpromised and underdelivered for the west of Scotland. Given that the SNP have scrapped three proposals to link Glasgow Airport with the city centre via Paisley over the last 16 years and seem incapable of delivering such a link, why should anyone believe this government is serious about a Clyde Metro project? Cabinet Secretary. Uh, officer, I thought it was a very good article uh, by uh, Susan Aitken, and I think she highlighted the very the considerable work that Glasgow City Council have taken forward with uh, some of their regional partners in the Connectivity Commission and the very ambitious proposals which they have set out in that. And that demonstrates, I think, great leadership from Glasgow City Council and Susan Aitken in particular. And I thought that article uh, reflected their uh, great ambitions, and I am sure the member will, uh, will agree with me on that. What I can say to the member is that that key recommendation, one of those key recommendations that came from the Connectivity Commission, is directly within STPR2, and that is for the Clyde Metro, which is a hugely ambitious programme, uh, which is a multi-billion pounds investment programme to help to improve connectivity right across the Glasgow City region, uh, which will help not only to improve connectivity between uh, towns, but also within key areas where uh, uh, where transport connectivity at the present moment is very poor, particularly in some of our lower income uh, uh, communities, where the plan is to look at how we can connect them much more effectively uh, through the Glasgow uh, Metro proposals. And that is why it is one of the key recommendations in here. And given that he thinks that the uh, proposal around a uh, city metro is a hugely ambitious uh, programme, I am sure he will recognise the fact that it is in STPR2 just demonstrates how ambitious STPR2 actually is.